Dr. Jason Saunders here with HBOT USA. Today we're going to do another research review. Uh, specifically, the article for today is hyperbaric oxygenation as a possible therapy choice for infertility treatment. And so here's a report that came out of the Journal of Basic Medical Science 2006, and they were looking at uh, using hyperbaric oxygen for women with unexplained infertility. And so uh, in this particular case, there were 32 women who had to be previously diagnosed with uh, unexplained infertility, and they were using hyperbaric oxygen as the therapy, uh, and then using transvaginal ultrasound to measure uh, subendometrial, endometrial, and uterine perfusion, uh, as well as endometrial thickness pre and post uh, therapy. And so in these cases, they used uh, 2.3 atmospheres, they were using 70 minutes of treatment, and it was seven consecutive days in a row starting on the fifth day of the woman's cycle. And as we know, hyperbaric oxygen has this ability to improve the microcirculation of a given area. Uh, especially if there was any uh, trauma or dysfunction in that area. We know that using hyperbaric oxygen increases uh, tissue perfusion of oxygen. And so it would make sense that we should see some similar changes in this particular study. Um, but it's always good to just reconfirm in different areas of the body and for different issues that people are experiencing, do we see similar um, outcomes when using this therapy. And so after, uh, at, like I said, 2.3 atmospheres, 70 minutes a day, seven days in a row, starting on the fifth day of their cycle, pre and post uh, transvaginal ultrasound did in fact show uh, an increase in the capillary network of the uterine lining, uh, increased perfusion of oxygen into uh, the uterus, as well as a desirable increase in the thickness of the endometrium. All signs showing that there is an improved health and improved function of the uterine lining uh, for conception purposes. And so, of course, this is one study. There's only 32 women involved in this study. Part of the conclusion from this study would be um, more studies similar to this need to be done in order to really show uh, the, the pre and post hyperbaric oxygen therapy for these women with unexplained infertility um, to show improvement in, uh, in fertility and in conception. Uh, however, this is a very promising study showing that at least with initial course of care, there are certainly uh, desirable changes that occur in the uterus and the endometrium, uh, increasing the likelihood of conception taking place. So it should absolutely be a, uh, at least a consideration for women out there who are having uh, fertility challenges and what would be considered unexplained infertility. And so thanks for listening and we'll uh, see you next time.